I've had quite a few questions about how to rig up the floating squid jigs. So I thought that I would show you what my setup looks like today and also show you the knots that I use to tie these jigs into my leader line. For my leader, I use 50 pound test monofilament. And at the bottom, I have just a ball weight and it's attached to a snap and the snap is attached to the line with an improved clinch knot. And I like having the snap at the bottom so that I can switch out the weight for heavier uh, weights if I need to. The floating jigs are attached to the leader line just with a dropper loop and I'll show you how to tie those here in a second. I have three jigs on my leader line and they're about 12 inches apart. And then at the very top of my monofilament leader, I just tie whatever knot you feel like uh, to attach it to another snap that's gonna be attached to your main line. And I use the 30 pound test uh, braided. For the leader, I use the monofilament because it's a little bit stiffer and it helps maintain the spacing between the jigs. But for the main line, I use braided line because there's no stretch in this. And so you can feel the squid hit your, uh, your jigs down there because this line is so sensitive. To demonstrate how to tie the dropper loop, I'm going to use this rope because it's easier to see than the monofilament. So you just overlap like that, and then we're going to tuck the line under several times. And that leaves us with a nice loop right there. And we're going to put our jig through the loop and then you just pull the ends tight. Now that we have one jig on there we're just going to slide a second jig down and tie another dropper loop. The other knot that I use in my leader setup is the improved clinch knot, and that's to attach the snap, which then attaches to my weight. So we take our line, go through the snap, and then we're going to leave a little bit of a loop right here at this end, and pull this line around. And then you're going to take your tail and go through that opening. Now it looks like that. And then you go back through that loop. There we go. So those are our two loops. We got the dropper loop on the floating jig and the improved clinch on the snap for the weight. 